Excuse me, what are you doing there, kazoo? He gets along with all three of these guys. They love it in here. They got the babies in here. I love feeding these guys. Koi, the goldfish. Ridiculous. What is up, Billings fam? Welcome back, and boy, oh boy, it is good to be back with you guys. It has been way too long. We had so much stuff going on. We had holidays, we had stuff for work going on that I had, and it was just very difficult to really sit down and, and post a video. I appreciate all the love and support. You guys have been amazing during this time. We've seen all the comments. We've heard you guys, and trust me, we missed you just as much. I promise you, videos are gonna start coming out again, and we're gonna start with this one today. We're just gonna kinda give you an update of everything that's been going on, catch you up with house buildings, get you inside uh, kind of a little bit of what we've been going through. We have some really cool news. We have some not so cool news. We got a little bit of everything. As always, guys, make sure, go down and subscribe right now. Hit that bell, stay tuned. We will start having our videos coming out very, very shortly. All sorts of cool ones that we're gonna be doing. We're gonna do some educational ones, uh, some updates. We're getting through the cold weather. I'm so excited. We're already into the, nearing the end of January here, which is exciting. I can't wait to be able to get back outside. So, without further ado, Let's start with one of my one of my favorite tanks here. We got our 55 planted here, and I want to show you a little bit of what's going on. I don't know if you can see these crazy roots down here, but these things are growing. So this is our pothos plants that I planted uh, in here about about a month and a half ago. And if you can see, the root system has been going like crazy. Uh, it's got all new leaves coming off of here. Really cool plant. Uh, I definitely recommend if you've never used these definitely do it. It's awesome for the system. It, it helps clean, helps do everything with the nitrates and nitrates, nitrites and nitrates, keep them down. And it just looks really cool. So this is going to grow like crazy and we can stretch it all over to other tanks and it's really cool. There was one on it a second ago, but our auto cats love it. They usually hang out on the uh, little root system coming through there. But as you can see, it's doing pretty well in here. And I don't know if you can see that, but that is unreal look at this stuff it is growing like crazy it spreads i actually take handfuls of this every day out of here at least three or four and i bring them over to our koi and goldfish because they enjoy eating this so typically you don't see them doing it but really cool this was our next stop i wanted to bring you over here uh, our butterfly right there she is beautiful these guys are growing huge when we got these guys months ago, almost actually almost a year ago, we picked these guys up. We saved them from Walmart. It was an awesome video. If you never checked that out, make sure you do. Just go back to that video and see how little they were. They were like tiny guys. They were tiny. And now, I mean, this is unbelievable. She's huge. She's got to be, I pulled her out the other day. I think I have a picture of it. I'll try and post it right there. I took her out just to look at her. She's got to be six inches, almost seven inches now and doing great. They absolutely love it in here. But so we take some of this stuff out and put it in here every day. And then we also put it in here. Now this, I wanna zoom in for you guys to be able to see these, because I don't know if you can see them right there, but really cool. Hold on, let me turn this around so you can see this. These, these little babies in here are just absolutely beautiful and something really special. And I'm gonna pop something on the screen here in just a second so you can really see this. I just wanted to really get in so you could take a second. There's just the two of them in here. So they got this whole area, which is really amazing and they love it. But let me tell you who these guys are. So where those babies came from. You are gonna see the, the full video of where they came from after this, but I just wanna fill everybody in so we're all on the same page here. So we got Suede and we got Fuego here. Now, Fuego was the new one. Unfortunately, we had one pass away. I don't know if you saw that, but make sure you go check it out. We had rescued um, Suede and Flame from somebody that had them for years. They were a mated pair, absolutely beautiful. They were doing great when they came over. Unfortunately, Flame passed away. He didn't make it. We tried to save him. We did everything we could. We couldn't. So what we did was we actually rescued Fuego here from one of our local places we go to all the time. He needed to be rescued. We thought it would be great. We put them together. I updated you guys on this. They were doing okay at first. They kind of seemed to be going at each other. We thought it wasn't good. It was actually because they were mating. And so these two had a crap ton of babies, about 200 of them in the stock tank. So the mom and dad and all the babies were in here 
The mom and dad unfortunately got a bacterial infection, so we had to move Fuego and Suede out of there so we could treat them. In the meantime, we lost most of the babies. We actually thought we lost all of them, so I kept the tank up and running and was still putting food in there just in case, but I was pretty sure they were gone. Well, crazy, about two weeks later, all of a sudden these two babies came out of nowhere and they were tiny and they must have been hiding. It was unbelievable, it was really cool. So we kept them alive and we've been taking care of them. I cleaned out the whole tank, looks gorgeous in there. I need you to see this picture. So I took one out the other day just to look at it and I held it. This thing is beautiful. Take a look at this picture right now. Unbelievable, it has blue in it and everything. So we posted on a couple of the forums that we're in on Facebook and people that breed them for a living, these Tiger Oscars said it was a very rare color. It probably wouldn't keep its color, but if it did, it would be one of the most rare, one of the rarest they've ever seen. So really cool. Um, we're gonna keep checking on it every now and then to see you know, how much it changes. Now it will eventually change probably to orange, but it would be unbelievable if it kept most of it. So that is our baby update, really cool. These guys are loving life. They are doing great in here. They are very, very messy. I have to do water changes in here. No lie, probably at least once a week, if not twice sometimes. Um, but we got to keep the water clean so that they stay healthy. They are a little banged up still. Uh, it does take some time, but we've been treating them with the Melifix and the, and the um, uh, Pima Fix. Yeah, Pima Fix. Weird name. Anyways, we've been treating with them and they've been doing great. So really cool. They are very personable. They come right over to you when you go to feed them. Actually, you know what? Speaking of feeding, let's, uh, let's go ahead and feed them because it is pretty much feeding time and uh, these guys are pretty feisty when we go to feed so I want you guys to check this out so they definitely know when it is feeding time and they usually come right over I swear I swear every time they make me look ridiculous oh there we go all right usually they come up and go nuts I'm wondering guys so it is getting to be about the time that they will start breeding again. Um, and sometimes when they're doing that, they do kind of just stay over by themselves over there and they don't really get too aggressive. So I'm wondering if that's what's going on because normally when I open this, they are right at the top and they're eating that before I even put it in. Um, they're almost taking it out of my hands, but they're at least still eating. So that is pretty good. Um, while we are talking, it is time to feed everybody else, so we can do that too. Let's feed these guys over here. Uh, now, a little update about this tank. There isn't much different in here other than the plants are going like crazy. Um, and we do have these Cory Cats, which are amazing. I don't know if you've seen them. I can't remember on the other videos if you have, but we got three of them. They're really cool. There's another one. I got some hair algae growing on that plant I got to take care of, but really cool. We have the new light too. I don't know if you guys ever saw that. Got the new light system, got a better uh, filter as well, which is a title. I love that. Speaking of filters, guys, now bear with me. It's a little bit of a mess over here, but we got Fred, Kazoo, and Xena. They are doing great. Uh, and the old filter is out of commission. I just didn't want to move it because there's a big hole there, but we got a new Fluval 406. Thing is gorgeous and it is doing work. We just put that in recently. Funny update. See all this stuff over here? After being in here for like seven months and everything being fine, these guys have learned how to escape, which was a, just an absolute panic attack episode for me when I came down and figured, and found them missing, okay? So Kazoo has escaped three times and uh, Fred has escaped once himself and they actually escaped through these holes, which if you measure, it's like almost impossible. Uh, excuse me, what are you doing there, Kazoo? You trying to go on another adventure? That is craziness. It's almost physically impossible, but they did it. And I found them like two days later in the uh, corner of the basement over there. So we've got to change this up, which we are gonna do anyways. We need to, this has been a long time coming, but I'm glad we have new filtration in here, which is awesome. So very, very excited about that. I love feeding these guys. The koi, the goldfish, very, very cool. Again, I just can't believe how big they're getting. It's it's really just awesome seeing this. Um, I can't wait till they get full grown. I don't know what we're gonna do with them, 
but where we're gonna put them, we're gonna need something huge, but just beautiful, beautiful creatures. And this is this is just a really relaxing tank, and we got the uh, huge plecos in here. They are still doing amazing as well. Um, Steve, and I don't know if we ever gave the other one a name, I can't remember, but they are in here as well. They're doing great. We'll feed them uh, spinach sometimes, cucumbers, a little bit of everything. They do awesome, so love this tank. We got the babies in here. Actually, we can give, uh, let's feed them too. They need to eat right now. It's feeding time for everybody. These guys are now just eating flakes like normal. They are awesome. Again, what's really cool about these guys is that they come from a half, they come from one of their parents being a veil tail and the other not. So the one I took out that was bigger did have the veil tail. I don't know if the other one does, but they said, everyone that was in those groups were saying that that's why they get those crazy colors is actually because of them having different kinds of parents, which is really cool. So I'm excited for these two guys. I really am. I hope you guys are too. I want to really follow them as they grow up. Now, for my favorite part, we've got our big boys over here, our monsters. Don't mind the watercolor. There's still some tannins in here from this wood, but look at these bad boys. They are doing awesome. We got Thor and Loki. We got Camo over there. And we got Inferno. So Inferno was in the 80 gallon by himself and we decided to move him in here and he has done amazing. He gets along with all three of these guys. They love it in here, they do great. We're usually either feeding them those huge massive or um, pellets or we're feeding them the tilapia and they just absolutely love it. So everyone's doing great. Love this tank, love hearing it as soon as you walk down the stairs, you just hear this nice little waterfall. Uh, I still wanna fix up the filtration a little bit, but with nice wet weather around the corner, I don't know if I'm gonna take the time to do that or just get them back outside in a new pool pond. So very exciting guys. So just a couple last uh, little updates that I wanted to leave you guys with. We, uh, in our downtime, we also actually started up a new company, which I'm really excited about. And I'll add it in a little bit here. It has nothing to do with the rescue animals, but it is a way for us to make some extra money and hopefully grow very big. Uh, I know we've told you guys our plans down the road is we wanna have huge area, huge acres of land, farm, animals, everything. We also got into the CBD industry. If any of you use this, it is an amazing product fully organic and natural, and it helps with everything, anxiety, depression, it helps with cancer symptoms, nausea, literally can help anything. It's been a lifesaver in our own family for many, many reasons, so we got into it. In the Connecticut area, we actually deliver right to you. We do have a website, I'm gonna put it in the description. Please check it out. If any of you guys are interested in that, again, I know it has nothing to do with the animals, but by all means, feel free to check it out. If you're in Connecticut, we deliver. If not, we are gonna ship out to you. So we are gonna grow our own plants as well, which is really cool. So we're gonna probably start another channel as well to really get into that, but every now and then I might might mention that. Uh, but one of the things that I did want to mention were the chickens started laying eggs. Really cool. So we have our own eggs every day, uh, which is a, a really cool thing. So we have clover and we have henny, which is Henrietta, and they lay very different eggs. So these eggs are from clover. Let me show you Henny's eggs. It is. It's very different. There it is. It almost has like a bluish tint to it. Um, but we've been getting them for about a month now, and it is, it's just amazing. Fully, fully fresh, organic. We only feed them organic foods, and it's just what, a th what an amazing thing to be able to wake up to every day. So I'm probably going to invest in some more chickens next year because it's just, they're awesome. I really love them. It's been difficult with them outside. We need to build them a better place, but it's been a lot of fun. Uh, but anyways, guys, that pretty much does it for today. I'm glad you got to join us again. I'm sorry it took so long for us to get something else out, but I really hope you stick with us. We got so many cool things coming. As always, guys, peace. Subscribe below. Look at this guy. He won't forget. They always come over to us. We are walking to PetSmart. Very, very small fish. Excellent, guys. Fred is in great shape. Over, say hi. Is doing so much better underneath.